All right. Headset has told me we're broadcasting. Hopefully we are. I think that's Emily. All right, I'm gonna peek up. See if we are alive. Oh, good, it caught this time. Nice. Hey, Gamer Knights here. Welcome, Gamer Knight. How are you doing, Gamer Knight? Just subscribe for two months in a row. Thank you, Gamer Knight, for the resubscription. See, so the game just kind of threw us into things. Uh, let me uh, go through the opening announcements. Get. Give us uh, some time for other viewers to get in. And uh, I'm also going to uh, go over some VR specifics here. You're well, thanks? That's good. I am glad you're doing well. Okay. So, a couple of quick VR specific announcements here. This is Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. This is a... I'm not really sure. It's a, a pseudo-sequel, a pseudo-prequel, a spin-off. Not really sure. Um, but it's based off the same themes and characters as Until Dawn, which is the Spooktober game we finished up uh, the last Monday of last month, which was last Monday. <laughs> and um, this game was supposed to be streamed as a one-shot, meaning a one-time run-through uh, last Monday, but we were still finishing up Until Dawn, so we're doing it today. Now, two things about VR. One, there is no camera. Uh, typically, when I stream directly from PlayStation, uh, it is the PlayStation camera mounted to the PS4 that records me. Uh, but for some PlayStation VR experiences, the camera has to be used to either... Uh, well, not either. It has to be used to keep track of the lights on the VR headset in addition to the lights on the top of the uh, PlayStation Move Motion wands. And so... Some VR experiences, they just can't do two things. They can't do, they can't keep track of the VR lights as well as showing my face. So this appears to be a non, unless the game surprises me and some VR games have, but this looks like it's going to be a non-cam stream. Also, uh, the mic quality might be a bit different. Uh, when you stream from PlayStation VR, there is a mic built into the VR headset. And so that's what you're hearing right now. So I can't use the, the USB mic that I typically use. Uh, so, those two things. One other special VR thing to keep in mind. In order for me to see your comments, I can't just, like, look off to the side and look at the computer screen. Or even my phone, for that matter. Uh, but they will pop up in front of me as you type something. Uh, just keep in mind that the message that will be displayed in front of me will be very short. I don't know exactly how many words can fit. Probably depends on the length of the word. But it seems to be like around maybe 8 to 10 sentences. Or not, sorry, not 8 to 10 sentences. 8 to 10 words. So when you type, try to type briefly. And not more than like one sentence at a time. If not, the whole thing will not display for me. And I think you will see on your screen, I think you may anyway, uh, when uh, the message appears. And Fusion is here. Hello, Fusion. Welcome to the stream. Yes. Fusion, by the way, has chosen our Monday Mishmash game starting next week, and that will be Yakuza Zero. So, I am interested to get into that game. I've heard some good things about it. I've heard Yakuza Zero is quite long, uh, but that it is quite good. So, 
That's something to look forward to for next week. But let's get into the opening announcements real quick, and uh, then we'll get into the game. So for those who do not know, welcome to the stream. I am your host, Lord Orpheo. I am a variety streamer here on Twitch in addition to being a YouTuber. And I stream five days a week. And I stream a little something different throughout the week. I have what I call different stream themes. And so on Mondays, we have the Monday Mishmash, which is what we're doing today. For the Monday Mishmash, we can stream any game uh, from any genre with the exception of role-playing games. We save those for later on in the week. So it can be a spooky game, which is what we're doing today. Uh, we could do a full-motion video game. We could do an indie game. We could do a AAA. We can do a looter shooter. Um, pretty much everything is open to us on Mondays, except for RPGs. So do expect all manner of variety. For Tuesdays, I take the day off. On Wednesdays, in the Discord channel, we have Anime Afternoons, and so if you enjoy watching anime, feel free to head on over, join us there. We typically screen through two episodes from a given series, and then afterwards on Twitch, we have our weekly Just Chatting stream called Community Chat and Gaming News, during which we discuss community updates, gaming news, and game releases for the week. Then Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays are our RPG Afternoons which are dedicated to role-playing games, which is why we don't do role-playing games on Mondays. So if you enjoy RPGs, last three days of the week are geared at you. Sundays, similar to Tuesdays, I take the day off as well. So if any of those stream themes are of interest to you, if you think they're appealing, feel free to drop me a follow, and I hope to see you sometime during the week. And now, with our opening announcements out of the way... Let us return to the stream of the day. So again, we are here for until... Actually, we're here for the Monday Mishmash. <laughs> and this is Until Dawn Rush of Blood from Supermassive Games. So yes, again, this is a virtual reality experience. We are strapped in here to a spooky roller coaster ride. Uh, I think I saw a review of this game and they said it's about seven roller coasters long so i guess each roller coaster is like a level um you could you can play with either a standard dual shock for analog controller or two motion wands i am using two motion wands you'll probably be able to see those later once uh, the gunplay starts um i've read the game is actually quite a bit easier with the motion wands which is why i'm using them otherwise i prefer to just use a dual shock and that is because if you use a dual shock it seems like both of your guns point in a single direction, but if you use motion wands, you can aim uh, each gun independently of one another, so it makes it easier to take out multiple targets at a time. So, uh, yes, that is why. It's for gameplay purposes. Let's see, what else, what else? Oh, yes. Again, I do not know if this is uh, a spin-off, a prequel, a sequel, um... From the intro and the fact that at the beginning of the roller coaster we saw the doctor, I feel like maybe this is to some degree what's going on within the head of, um, what's his name? I want to say it starts with an L, but I don't remember. Um, oh no, I think it's Josh. Was that his name? Josh is the, the brother of the twin sisters that, uh, that, uh, disappeared the year before in the prologue. Um, he has gone through several mental health clinics. And I feel like due to just seeing the doctor, maybe this is sort of what's going on in his head during the events of the main game. We see him talking to a doctor, which appears to be a doctor just in his head as well. Uh, that maybe that may have been a character he encountered earlier when he was actually in an asylum. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. This is an on-rails first-person shooter. It's supposed to be quite spooky. Going off the intro, it is very spooky. And uh, we'll see how this all plays out. Let me lift up the headset real quick, make sure we're still broadcasting. Okay, it looks like we are. That's good. Oh, and Fusion has also redeemed hello. I'm new to stream. Well, welcome, Fusion, to our stream for the very first time. Again. And Fusion has also redeemed Hydrate very well. 
So I guess that's another announcement I should make. I can't always or won't always be able to see redemptions. So if I do not honor one, uh, do let me know in chat. Uh, I can see what you type. I just can't see redemptions. I don't know if you can hear me swallowing the water there, but that was pretty good. Actually, let me put the cat back on the water. <laughs> Back on the water bottle hill, because I might be swinging these motion wands around, not realizing it, and knock over the bottle of water. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let me get the headset back on. All right. <sighs> and I think according to the website howlongtobeat.com, this game is supposed to be beatable in like two to three hours. That's probably assuming you don't die. Uh, so it's probably going to be like maybe three or four hours for us. But it shouldn't take us much longer than that. This is not a game where I have the freedom to just naturally like stroll around. This is on rails. It's going to pull us through kicking and screaming all the way. So it shouldn't take us much more than that. We'll try our best to beat it today. If we don't, well, then we don't. But the goal is certainly to try to conquer this in a single sitting. So, let me get the, uh, rotate the controllers properly. Okay. And, uh, let's begin. Calibration. Look left and right. Okay. What do we have here? Wireless controller. Select this. Camera Knight says, testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that I read. I didn't read all the, the words, but I read most of them. I think the, the furthest I could read was 13. I think. And then it had like dot, dot, dot. But you might be able to see that too on your screen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you see the messages pop up on my, on my screen as well. Okay. It's like the back of the headset sliding up. I'm trying to, uh, to keep that from happening. It cut off at 11. We do see a pop up. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. So if you say something and I don't respond to it, like to the to the full question, that would be why. Just so you know. All right. Wireless controller. Select this to use a wireless controller. You can change controller type at any time from the controller options menu. Motion controller. Select this to use two motion controllers. You can change controller type at any time from the controller options menu. I stayed up. Well, I didn't stay. I stayed up a little bit yesterday. Uh, recharging the motion wands. I haven't used them since, well, since we first started streaming in VR, I think. <laughs> so, it took like, uh, I want to say it was like seven hours to recharge like each motion wand independently because I only use like one charger. They charge off my Steam Deck. And, uh, yeah, I didn't think it would take that long. But, um, we are here. We are ready. Let's go. Okay. Motion controls. Calibration. Extend your arms like the model and then press the move button. Okay. Oh, look. This is us. This is our little belly, our feet, our legs, our arms. That's cool. VR looks fun, but horror game I could not do. LOL. Yeah. I mean, I feel like for horror, it's VR is probably really good at horror. Um, and I like horror games. I like spooky stuff, but I... I'm a little squeamish when it comes to VR horror because you can't, like, turn away. It's like if something scares you in front of you, you're like, oh, and you, you turn your head. It's like you're not getting away. You're still in the environment. You're trapped. So it's it's a little it's a little something. VR really is very immersive. Um, I'm guessing the, the zeros on at the bottom is our score. And, well, we'll see what everything else, what happens with everything else. Okay, extend our arms. And then press motion. If your arm position does not match that of the player character, you can extend your arms and then press and hold the start button to recalibrate at any time. I think the start button's on the right. Oh, look at the clear hands! Can I just rest them? It'd be nice if I could just rest them, like, on the, uh, the arm rests, my elbows on the arm rests of the chair, but I, can't, I don't think I can do that. 
Oh, these are snazzy little pistols here. Look at that. I like that. Yeah. Nice design. Can I... Oh, I can't click the guns together. That's cool. See, this is why I like the motion wands. You can actually, like... You can rotate the guns. And aim independently. Anyway. Um... Okay. Options, level select. Let's see what the options are. Uh, audio. Speaker type, headphones. Correct, because they're being pumped through VR. Subtitles, I want subtitles on. I always love subtitles on. Okay, confirm. I thought we'd get more audio options than that, like volume adjust or something. Well, I mean, I, I can do that in my... My VR headset, but I was hoping I could do that for stream purposes. Controller? Uh, let's do calibration. I want to make sure these are going to work right. Extend your arms like the model and then press... Oh, look, I can cross my arms. It's like an action film. All right. Um, wait, how do I... How do I go back? I don't want to... I'm done. Let's... I guess just change controller. And then just pick motion controller again. Oh my goodness. How do I... Oh no. It feels like we're stuck in a loop. Okay. I just started hitting other buttons on the on the move wands and it backed up. Okay. Is it? Okay, it's the circle button. That makes sense. Okay. Well, we can't... What happens if I do level select? I've never played this before. Oh, it, it, we can actually see what all the levels are before we even start the game. That's kind of spoilerish. I'm fine with that, though. Easy. Normal. Insane. Psychotic single life. There's no way we're going to do psychotic. Haunted Lodge. Okay, so that's the, the house that the game starts off in. Okay. So what controls the, the cross here is the direction in which I'm looking. I wonder how that works when I'm firing my guns independently, though. Can I not target different like stuff at the same time? What other levels are there? Haunted Descent? Oh, I think this is, um... This is the mines. Hotel Hell. Oh, this is the Haunted Hotel. Okay. I think that this is one that Sam finds herself in. Uh, Psycho Cell Block. This is the Sanatorium. Ghost Town. I don't know what ghost town is. Maybe it's like the miner's town. Mines of death. Okay, this is when you come back into the mines close to the very end of the game. Final Inferno. Okay, so I guess this is just us trying to escape the mines. Ratika's here. Hello, Ratika. How are you doing? Okay. I wasn't I wasn't counting. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay. So there are seven. Okay. You're good? Just got home? That's good. Hit work and gym. 
Well, welcome on in. We've just finished calibrations, I hope. And we're about to try out Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. Work only? I see. New story. Uh, what difficulty should we do? I'm either going to do easy or normal. I'm not, there's no way I'm doing psychotic single life or insane. I'm tempted to do easy, just so we can tr really try to complete this in a single sitting. I don't know how hard normal... Typically when I start a game, I always start on normal. But, I mean, this is very... Sp it's, it appears to be very spooky. And I don't know how hard it's going to get. I'm worried. I wonder what's behind me. Oh, it's just more track. Normal? Alright. Let's try normal. Welcome, my friend. And step right up to the ride of your life. There are wonders beyond this door that will test your skill and test your will. Do we have a winner here today? See the targets. Shoot the targets. And try your best not to die, of course. If it sounds simple, then by all means, show me what you're made of. All you have to do is point your weapon right over here at this sign and pull the trigger. You don't trust him? I don't trust him either. Shoot. Okay, so the triggers beneath the motion wands are your triggers to shoot. Okay, that's where my, my trigger fingers rest. And then the PlayStation buttons... Or the move buttons are your reload buttons. Okay. See, this is what I was saying about the motion wands. This is why I like it over the, the dual shock here. Because I think the dual shock would have your, your guns look like this. And the crosshair would just follow wherever your, your VR helmet is looking. And so both guns would always point at the same thing. Whereas with motion wands, you can aim them independently. So if I have two enemies like jump at me at the same time, I don't have to like go shoot, shoot. I can just shoot independently. That's nice. <laughs> Real life. Oh, I guess the red tab is... Bye, guy. Oh, each gun holds five bullets. I see. This is scary. I didn't think it was going to be this scary. You haven't played VR in ages? Me neither. I, we did it earlier this year, but I forget what it was for. Oh, I recognize this. This is uh, near the rail car that takes you up to the spooky lodge up on the mountain. Unsafe keep out. Back in business, hippity ho. One minute we stop, one minute we go. Just wait and see what's around the bend, and I'll see you when you reach the end. Wasn't it for some indie game? Yeah, I think so. Trophy earned. Bound or something. Oh, that's right. That was your your chosen game, Ratika. Bound uh, VR. Or at least we chose to play it in VR. I am actually resting my arms on the uh, the armrests here. Oh. Ah! No! <laughs> Missing! I have to stay calm. Oh, 
we have different guns now. I like these. Oh, I missed a whole bunch of ducks right there. This is just the tutorial stage, though. This is, like, gonna get a lot spookier, I know it. Shoot the lock. Eyes on the prize. Collect all clowns per level? Oh. They used to come from miles around to witness our world-famous freak show. You ever hear the one about the guy who got stuck on a carousel and couldn't get off? Eh, even with all the grease from the horse. <laughs> I feel like that was a spooky story. All right, all right. Just warm enough. Just warm enough. Oh, this game has multiplayer? Oh, multiplier. I see, I see. Oh, I can't shoot him. Holy smokes. What is oh I have to lean? Oh jeez. Oh man, I can feel this. I'm like leaning back in my chair. Oh, this is Josh's clothing. Some days, this is a shirt. So this is taking place in his head. What, am I going to play Silent Hill? Yeah, I saw you beat it. Eventually. Once we get through some other of our PS4 games, that'll be up for vote. And uh, people want to see me stream it, I'll stream it. Nice knowing you, kid. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm bracing myself here. My feet are on the floor. Oh, I hope this isn't... Oh! I felt that. I felt that. <sighs> Very frustrating in the end. Yeah! I got it. Rush of blood. Here we go. Trophy earned. Oh, we got our pistols back. Our normal black and white pistols. Or whatever you want to call it. Ooh. They oh, these are like real guns. I guess the, the guns we had before, the clown guns. It seems we landed on the old ghost train. Proceed with caution. These guns feel like they have heavier kickback. I wonder what that did. Oh my goodness. I like the smoke effect from the guns, that's cool. Oh, I see you there. Um, oh.
Oh. Oh, I have to shoot the books? I didn't I didn't realize that. Oh, that's her ballerina. I think it's just easier for me. Oh, shot the head off. Oh my gosh. And this is like the first level. Wait, is that Emily? Oh, this is the cinema room. It's interesting how... Like, I can reach my arms over the cart. I got a five times multiplier. Nice. That was a hard little guy to hit there. Uh-oh. That's the doc the doctor's voice from the first game. Oh, I guess that was the first level. We got over half the collectibles. Accuracy B. We missed the secret. I feel like the secret 
was when we were going down the rails and I had to shoot all the boards and I guess I didn't shoot them in time so that the, the cart veered off to the right. I think maybe if I would have destroyed all the, the blockades fast enough, he would have just gone straight and that would have been the secret. I wonder if you can actually die. Like while you're riding the cart. I wonder if that's possible. Or if it'll just pull you through anyway. Well, level one done. Six more to go. Oh, look at that. It has leaderboards. That's cool. World. Local leaderboard. Local leaderboard, I'm number five. I wonder what it considers local. Like city, state. Of my friends, I'm the only one that has a score. Oh, you know what that means? I'm number one. By default, though, since no one else has played this game. Ha. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I wanted to show you something. Oh, you have it? We're on each other's friends list, aren't we? Let me do something real quick. Yeah. I discovered this yesterday and I thought it was pretty cool. Let's see if it if it works. It it's it's not always um It doesn't always work 100% of the time. It's still kind of iffy. But it's cool. There it is. I have a new bot for shoutouts and raids now. It's pretty neat. Ladies and gentlemen, behold Radika, a video game enthusiast hailing from the enchanting lands of Finland. With a PS3 controller in hand, they delve into the eerie world of Silent Hill. Their recent broadcasts, a chilling journey through Silent Hill itself. Now, for my next trick, I'll disappear. But the Radika's thrilling adventures remain for your viewing pleasure. Voila! You had a PS5 controller? Hmm. Yes, it's a little buggy. It's still in beta, but it's kind of cool. I know when I did mine, like, I, I tested to give myself a shout-out, and it said, like, come see Lord Orpheo talk about gaming news on the Monday Mishmash. And I was like, I don't do that in the Monday Mishmash. I do that on Wednesdays. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get the bugs worked out and uh, they'll make it work a little better. But I do like the, the sort of lavish or like intro thing they got going on <sighs> okay and you played this too right Ritika? yeah hmm. yeah I don't know if the bot has a cooldown either like maybe you can only do it once every like minute like real world minute or sometimes there's just it seems like there's a delay so Okay, let me readjust the headset here. And uh, we'll continue. Alright, alright, here we go. Continue. Well, now, listen up, listen up. Things have taken an unexpected turn, and I'm the first to admit that we need things corrected. Now, there's just one more thing. Don't be alarmed. You've inhaled a gas. And while there's no harm in it, there is one little side effect. You may start to see things that aren't really there. Which is why I hesitate to bestow upon you this kind of firepower. But you'll need some protection. The psycho who's done this is still at large, so I advise you to move on. Beware. Oh. I feel like you'd have to break the uh, the box there before the, the cart starts moving. We have sawed off shotguns now. Oh. I like this. I like this. I don't like that, though. 
So I guess now we get to go into, what was the second location that we visited in the, the main game, the mines? The mines. The mines. Here we go. Oh, it's loading screen. I was trying to look down and see how many bullets we have before we have to reload. Burb, take a shower. All right, Ratika. It still looks like five. Oh, she's moonwalking. That was freaky. Bad piggy. I feel like he's going to open his eyes. Did I get cut? Oh. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, lean forward. Oh, this is the prank they played on her. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh. 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 Nice. Oh, I think I'm out of ammo. Uh oh. 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 Was that it? Was that the second level? Not yet. I wonder why the left handgun is glowing red. Oh, the house is twisting. Or are we twisting? Regardless, this is getting twisted. I'm gonna have to lean this way. Oh, my handguns disappeared! I think I get it.
trophy earned. That was level two. I think what it is with the, the gun boxes, it seems, is that if I... Like, I guess by default we have handguns, but if I shoot the weapon boxes, then I get those guns. But if I use one gun to shoot both optional weapon boxes, then it just makes one of the guns really, really strong. So, like, if I shoot two sawed-off shotgun boxes with just this gun, then this handgun gets replaced by a sawed-off shotgun, and then I shoot the other one, then it gets, like, a lot stronger. So I guess it depends. Like, if you're playing with controller, that's probably pretty good. Because then that means you just have... Because you can only aim with the the, um, the DualShock 4 controller by just looking back and forth with your headset, I think. So that's going to make that one gun really strong, as opposed to, like, having multiple guns. All right, score, accuracy 54%, yeah. Overall score B, half the collectibles again. Okay. Uploading score. Okay. Continue. Two levels down. Five to go. You can't put this off forever. Into the heart of darkness. We don't get any bonus guns? Hold on. Did I just do something by accident? Okay, no, the, the stream's still going. Never mind. I hit a button. I hit the uh, the select button. I think that was a share button. I might have taken a screenshot by accident. I was trying to recalibrate the controllers, the motion controllers, but I think they're okay. Okay. Um, let's continue. No, no handgun upgrades, though. That's a bummer. Looks like we made it to the lodge. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. In the main game, you're not supposed to shoot the, uh... You're not supposed to shoot the animals. Why was there only one gun case, though? I only get one different gun? Maybe I just didn't see it. I feel like that was a secret there that we missed. Oh, I can't reload this... Oh. Trophy earned. Oh, thank you. He was helping me. He's like, hey, there's something over there to shoot. is out of play area but I'm oh. oh oh 
That looks pretty. Oh, I hit the secret, I think. Otherwise, we just went straight. Maybe that's just one of the secrets. Oh, it's all the way over there. Got it. This is so cool. We would have been going down there. That's that's where the other rail line went. What's that say? Oh, uh, I think the red, like, to clue you in, like, you should be ducking here. Okay. We made it. We're at the hotel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. oh. Where's the other gun like that? I'm just using the left gun here. Oh, it's a Magnum. Oh, sweet. There we go. Give me that one. Yeah! Twin Magnums, baby. Oh, I lost my other Magnum, though. These Magnums are awesome. I wonder if when you complete the game... You get to, like, unlock all the guns. There we go. One sawed-off shotgun and one magnum. Unless it takes it from me. Oh, I took my magnum. Get that out of here. Uh-oh. Oh! I didn't even see that.
That was close. Oh, we could have gone that way had I knocked it out earlier. I guess that's a missed secret. I like how many secrets there are, and I like how the game takes you through everything really slow. Because I feel like if this were fast the whole time, I'd probably get nauseous. Oh. Oh, and I can't even shoot him yet. Oh, I'm not liking this. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, man. Well, maybe we're... Maybe we're done? It looks like we're done. I mean, they might jump at us up here, but... Oh, I know where this is. This is in the sanatorium. Yeah. Amber must coming up this way. So far, I feel like this game is much scarier than its source material, than the original Until Dawn game. But the Until Dawn game, I wouldn't say was scary. It was just spooky. This is scary. This feels more action-oriented. I'm watching you. Got my eyes on you. Got my gun sights on you, too. Uh-oh. I'm just playing. You don't have to attack me. We're good. Oh... Oh. Oh. Oh, this is the abandoned hotel. I see, I see, I see. Oh, we got a Silent Hill effect going on here. Oh, that's freaky. I 
feel like I'm about to die. That was freaky. You're making great progress. I expect a full recovery very soon. Oh. <sighs> so I guess you can die. I guess the more damage you take, the more red the screen gets. And once the whole screen gets red, I guess you die. We did well, though. Fifth, we got a B+. Plus. Not even half the collectibles this time. We missed the secret. Alright, alright. Oh, look at that! I finally got fourth place in my local leaderboard. Yay! I really wonder what local leaderboard means. Like, does it mean, like... Oh, I know this. Local leader, these, those are the... I'm like, who used their real name? Like, who's Emily Davis? And I'm like, wait a second. I, oh, these other names look familiar. These are the names of the characters in... Uh, in the original game, in Until Dawn. I don't know who Bob Washington is. Oh, that oh Bob Washington must be the father. Josh is the kid. I think we're kind of like playing as Josh. I think, like I said, we're inside his head. Chris was his high school friend. Emily was Matt's girlfriend. Now his ex-girlfriend. Uh, or not Matt. Emily is Matt's current girlfriend. She's Mike's ex-girlfriend. It's interesting how I can keep those names straight. Okay. All right. Let's continue. So we're about halfway through. I think. I think that was level three. Now, 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 friend. You know and I know that all this consternation is just because of the gas. Strong stuff. Makes funny pictures in the head. But what we need to do is get you to a specialist. And I know just the spot. It's a cozy little clinic just down the line with all the best people now every specialist you could hope for they even specialize in special cases just like yours welcome back three tika so what do you say treat yourself to a treatment wouldn't want to relapse now would we I didn't know I could shoot their heads off. Time for your favorite game, Destiny. All right, level four. Oh, hell no. Nah. FF14, oh, that's your new favorite game, huh? Okay. Got it. Am I really getting better at this? We could have gone up, but we, we hit that little... I think this is the guest house? Or the shed? I think this is the shed. I remember this.
I almost missed that one. It's like I didn't even see it. It's not nice, Josh. I think I should have saved that. Yeah, I think I should have saved that. Uh oh. Looks like this might start getting a bit harder now. Got it. Oh, that was close. What was that? I'm glad we got the shotguns now. The Magnum. Stay down. <laughs> oh, we got that Silent Hill siren going on now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sorry for the out-of-play message. Ow. Oh, jeez. Okay. What? I have an Uzi now? Oh, that's hilarious. Heck yeah. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Oh, it downgraded to the Magnum. There we go. Oh! Oh, that was so close. I think the gun power-ups also wear off after, like, so many shots are fired. I think that's what it is. Got it. Nice.
Uzi. I see the statue over there. Got it. That's creepy. Oh, they got me. Nice. Oh. Ah. Nice. Good. One Magnum, one Uzi seems pretty good. Creepy nurse. Twin Uzis now. What's up? Oh, there were people up on the railing over me. I didn't notice that. <sighs> well, the checkpoint system isn't too bad.
Uh oh. That was close. I see you had some ups and downs this time. Yeah. No pain, no gain, I suppose. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you said that because we died once. Be average. We missed the secret again. We got over half the collectibles this time, though. Oh, all right, four down, three to go. I will say this is a good experience. This is one of the, the better VR experiences I've had on PlayStation VR. After I beat this, though, I'm not going to replay it. Like, it's just a bit too scary for me. But it is fun. Okay. Wow, someone got 1.25 million. World rank leaderboard number one. I'm like... Not even half that score. Yeah, these are all like this is cool. These are all the characters from the from the main game. Ashley Brown, Jessica. I, we never knew their last names, or at least I never knew their last names. Riley, Sam, Matt. I liked Ashley. I liked Sam. Those are good characters. Mike was kind of iffy towards the the end of the game. He was good. Towards the middle of the game, he was good. At the very beginning of the game, he was pretty bad. About three quarters of the way through, he made some questionable decisions. Not moral decisions, but questionable strategic decisions. But it was in the moment. I get it. All right, let's go. Okay. So what did I say? That was level four. So we're four-sevenths of the way through. Let me straighten myself up my chair. Urgh. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. Level five, here we go. Well, wasn't that an explosive turn of events? It was. You've rid us of that psychopath, but it seems we've nearly hopped out of the frying pan and into the fire. We've shaken the hornet's nest, my friend. Better hightail it out of here. So similar to the main game, once you get rid of Josh, you discover Josh wasn't really the threat that you thought he was. It's these guys. It's the, um, the Wendigos. Oh, I think that's who that was. The doctor back there. Or the, the the ringmaster who keeps talking to us. I don't think that's the, that that's definitely not the doctor from the first game. That's the the other character. That's the guy who helps you like learn to fight the Wendigos. Oh, there's the tower that that Matt and Emily were in. Oh my gosh.
Ah, oh, this is messed up. There was no spider in the original game. Unless that's just something I happen to miss. I don't know if I should have done that. We could have went that way. That looks more peaceful. Well, maybe. Maybe more peaceful? This, this looks more gross. This looks a lot more gross. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Oh... Oh, I think I'm supposed to be avoiding these. Like, I'm supposed to be leaning over so they don't hit me. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just gonna, like... Alter the, um... Like, the screen. Like, I thought we'd just get, like, a... I didn't know I could shoot that open. Uh. Here we go. Oh, oh. Ow. Night. Nice. Oh. Nice. Okay, shotgun, left hand, Uzi in the right hand. Thank you for allowing me time. I don't know, I'm supposed to... I was gonna say, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, it just, it's not doing anything. Oh! Oh, there's a belt here. Stop cheating. Oh, low bridge.
Shotgun Uzi. Gotcha. I think we go straight. I think we probably would have went that way had we not busted those little things around here. I like the different paths. I think that's really cool. And again, I really like that it stops at, at some points. Um... I really like that it stops at some points to like allow you to uh, to adjust. Otherwise, like, like I said, I'd be getting way too nauseous if it was, like, always just zipping around really quickly. Oh, that was, like, a whole other track we could have went on. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't realize what it was doing. I think I died. I did die. I was doing a pretty good job there. I even had to reload. Whatever. That was close. Oh, it's a flare gun!
I'm dead. Oh, this part's hard. This part's rough. Uzis, okay. Flare guns. Crap. Me neither. B plus, really? I thought it was gonna be a C. We missed the wheelchair secret. Oh, I think the silver sample maybe that tells you what the secret's supposed to be. Okay. Tilting the headset up there, making sure I'm still live. <laughs> it's so rare that I actually stream from, from VR. Okay. Let me... Actually, let me tilt this headset up again a little bit. I'm thirsty. Let me hydrate. Alright, so we're five sevenths. We got two levels left and we're done. We still haven't seen the Wendigo, and they do play a major part in the game. So I feel like... Of, of the, the main game. So I feel like we're going to start seeing those this time. Um, in this level, and then maybe last level will be like... They're going to throw everything at you. Okay, okay. Let me rest a moment. Huh. <sighs> It's interesting how Bob's name is in this game, and I, I think maybe he was mentioned. In, I think he was mentioned. His name was mentioned in the original game, but we never actually got to see him in the original game. Or maybe you do get to see him in the original game. I don't know. Maybe uh, we just missed those scenes. Am I genuinely scared of this game? Yeah. Oh, it feels like my heart starts racing. It's it's just the nature of VR. Like no matter what game you're playing, it does not look scary at all. It's it's the VR. That's what it does. 
like no matter what game you play in VR it makes it more immersive whether it's an adventure game or a role playing game uh, or a horror game VR makes it like a hundred times more immersive and as long as the developer can figure out a way to not have the player get nauseous uh, VR works really well and uh, it, it, it is the future of gaming like it's not going to take over for a very long time probably not even within my lifetime but like you can see the the immersion factor that it provides huh <sighs> Like, I can just look around to my left, my right, up and down. I can even look all the way behind me, and you can still see that there's set pieces behind me. There's more track, there's more tarp and lights. <sighs> and, yeah, I feel like, like VR is probably going to be such a big thing in the future that people are going to have dedicated game rooms where you walk into a room and it's completely empty except for like the VR glasses that you would wear maybe VR gloves instead of controllers and there might be some sort of like large trackpad that almost fills the entire room which would track like you walking back and forth in VR or you know if you're not if you prefer to sit down then they might have something where you can sit down but the more active you can be in VR the better but, uh, yeah, this is pretty tense. <sighs> it's also the sound design, too. Like, you hear... I mean, it's very similar to stereo audio. You know, if you hear something coming from your left speaker, then you know there's something to your left. But when that happens in VR, like, it feels a lot like real life. And I've had long game sessions in VR where um, you kind of like get so into the VR world that when you take the headset off, it feels weird. Like it feels like the real world is VR and the VR world is real. If that makes any sense. Because you could just like sit here and sink like eight hours into a VR game and just be like locked into this world. And it's almost like your brain starts to think it's real. Oh, boy. And like I said, this is one of the better made games. Definitely one of the better made games. I've tried some VR versions of of popular titles like Doom 3 and Borderlands 2 and I can't play them. Doom 3 just felt too confusing and I feel like the game is it might be too fast paced really to work that well in VR and Borderlands 2 just felt like it wasn't well done in VR like um, the controls were too weird for VR uh, but some other games like this one like Deracine, like Kismet, those are like the really, really good examples of VR. I would also put the game that Ratika suggested, which was um, Bound, which you don't have to play in VR, but you can. And I think that game was really, really well done in VR. Okay, I have had my breather. I had my sip of water. We have two levels left to wrap this up. Let me get my controllers here. Okay. Let's continue. It was not my intention to subject you to all this unpleasantness. I had hoped we could make it through unscathed. But there's something bad in here with us. Something dark and malignant. 
deep inside this mountain from which we cannot escape. The only hope is to confront your demons. One must treat the source, not the symptoms. Yeah, now it begins. Now we start seeing the uh, the Wendigos. <coughs> and the Wendigos are quick, too. I don't know how this is going to work. You can't kill Wendigos with guns. So I'm guessing there's going to be like some exploding barrels nearby to help weaken uh, the Wendigos. Hmm. <coughs> I leaned, whatever, whatever game, whatever. I'll lean again. I'm out of the play area. Okay. I was gonna say, if I'm out of the play area and like I still get burned, I was gonna have an issue with that. Down we go. Uh oh. It's not like an elephant. that what is that oh, I wonder if that was a secret Oh, I got a flare gun. I like that. Oh! Well, there goes all my heavy firepower. Oh, we got it. We turned it around. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Got it. Get out of here. We should go straight. Yeah. Oh, that was going to be horrible. I'm glad we avoided that. Oh, this looks like a genuine roller coaster. Oh, we got them all. How about that? We almost got that one. That's creepy. I thought I was dead right there. Oh my gosh. Oh no! 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 Okay. I have to say I'm not a big fan of the boss fights in this game, but that's because they're like scarier than the normal stuff. Oh, that's like a thing that'll spin and crush our heads. That's not good. No low bridge required? Looks like it would be. What the heck? This is bad. as low as I can here. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Another low bridge. Looks like Matt's body. A lot of these actually look like Matt's body. Oh, we got it. Right at the very end, we got it. What was that?
What is that? Uh oh. Bye. I feel like that was the end of the level. Yep. These are very troubling results. It seems we came dangerously close to losing you all together. We did it. We did. Oh, we found the secret. It was the doctor's medicine case. Not many collectibles found. I thought that looked out of place. I didn't know what it was when I first saw it. I thought it was a, like a laptop computer. So that's pretty cool. B plus, that's it. We have one level left. I was pretty sure that was the end of the level. Because when we went through the level select screen, the final level looked to be like filled up with red stuff. Like we were in a volcano or something we were trying to get out. And uh, that's what the end looked like at that level. So it's like, oh, I guess we did it. We made it to the final level. All right, B plus. Not bad, not bad, not bad. You know what it could be, Ratika? As far as me not seeing your score on my friends list, it could be that the on. Well, no. Yeah. It, well, maybe yeah. I was gonna say it could be that the online leaderboards no longer update. Like, that could be why. Like, maybe they just are what they are, and that's it. Like, um, I think there was another game I used to play that way. I think that's what people said about Anthem. That they were still online leaderboards. But they were finicky. Like, sometimes they didn't update at all. Just because the game servers weren't really tended to that well anymore. Like, the, the focus on the servers for Anthem is more like keeping the game going, not like the leaderboards. And so sometimes they didn't update at all. Sometimes they would roll back. Um, but that could be what's going on with this game. Because this game came out quite a while ago. And I don't think it was that popular. Not because it's not good. But just because the PlayStation 1, I think, had a relatively low adoption rate. Compared to how many people bought a PlayStation 4. So, yeah, they probably don't keep up with the leaderboards. That could be it. Okay. Well, we have one more level to go. You ready, Fright fans? One final level of Until Dawn Rush of Blood. I hope we beat it. I would hate to, like, have to go back to level select and uh, choose the, the final level in easy mode. I mean, if we have to, we'll do it just to beat the game. But so far, so far we're succeeding. <sighs> okay. Continue. 
Oh. Says, my friend, the home stretch. Our undertaking is nearly complete. We're almost at the root of this malignant force. You lost your hat. The procedure is not without its risks. You're going to need all your wits about you if you want to prevail. It's creepy how after he talks to you, he just like stands really still like a mannequin. Here we go. Last level. Oh, this looks like it's going to be based around the ghosts. You can already hear them laughing. <laughs> the, this looks kind of Halloween-y, doesn't it? I think the only... I think what make this game kind of fun... Um... For like a second playthrough. Welcome, my friend. I think it's time for us to dispense with this preposterous charade. Would be if you can choose what gun or guns you want to play through. fun if the whole level is like this though just fast paced where you don't stop at all like at the last level we're the easiest one. Oh, i missed that one soon i will die on a feast of your blood nah i need my blood oh my goodness You never saw that in the original game. We got two shotguns here. Get out of here. Oh, that's the guy who, yeah, who brought us on the trip. trying to save my ammo. I'm not trying to shoot any skulls or anything. I want to keep my guns as long as I can at the power bonus they're at. One Uzi. One shotgun. Ah! Oh, there was a blue box up there. I missed it. Nice. Magnum handgun. Double magnums, baby. I'm ignoring him. If I don't have to use ammo, I'm not going to. Fight for me. Not in here. 
<laughs> Uzis, we got Uzis. So I guess this whole level is like a final boss fight. Any more guns? No. Yep. Holy hell. Oh, that was quick. Ah! Standard handguns again. Got him. Magnums. Nice. You're nasty. Are we out of here? Are we done? Back to our. We've got one handgun, one magnum left. All right, back to two woozies. Why would you do that? That doesn't sound nice. Wow, insta-death. I hope we start right there. Okay, we do. Twin magnums. Back to normal handguns again. I was aiming right at that thing. I don't know why I didn't, like... I didn't work. It worked that time. Uh-oh. We're back to normal handguns. Any new guns anywhere? Not nice.
I could really use new guns. Thank you. Back to my handguns. Got it. Nice. Twin Uzis again. Sink into the lava. Uh oh. Oh, buddy. You know, I actually feel my motion wands vibrating. I never knew the the, the motion wands had vibration in them. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Well, that went far better than expected, at least from our perspective. But I bet it felt like the ride of your life, eh? Yeah, it did. I'm going to give you something to help you relax. Oh, I don't think I need that. It's a little too early to know if the procedure's been entirely successful. In all honesty, we might have to try it a few more times to be sure. To get to the root of the problem. Oh, no. I wonder if that means, like, you have to replay over and over again to unlock all the secrets. I'm seeing I'm getting trophies. I don't know what they're for. I'm assuming that one was for beating the game. Half the collectibles. B+. Plus. <sighs> that, was, that was a rush. That wasn't the hardest. The, the hardest levels, I think, were like levels uh, 3 and 4 like the middle of the experience the spider boss for me it took a while to figure out what to do like you had to shoot its eyes but you could only shoot out like two eyes at a time and so it was almost like a three stage fight or four stage fight and then the one before that when I was just fighting all the other enemies uh, I think in stage three that was just that was a big rush whichever other, what other level it was we died in All right, let's see what happens.